the flow sports radio Jack and the Flow Sports Radio Show, episode 90. All right, man. My last video, we talked about the Jeff Horn and Manny Pacquiao fight and the backlash that happened after Jeff Horn uh, got the victory in that fight. So, you know what, man? My last video I had a lot of people come in. We had some troll asses who didn't know what the hell they was talking about. But we also had a lot of people who understand the sport of boxing or who know their boxing. And we had a lot of good discussions, man. You need to go over there and check out episode 89 and see and get in on the fun because we're still chopping it up. But I went ahead, man, and paid attention to a lot of you cats out there, man, had some good points. And you know what, man? I'm the type of cat, man, I want to really know if I know uh, what I'm seeing is what I'm seeing. So I went back and I actually watched the fight again. And that's what I suggest everyone to do. Stop being emotional and stop getting Still all in your feelings, you know, and feeling some kind of way. Go back and go watch the video again. And that's exactly what I did, man. First time I watched the fight, I watched it as a fan of boxing, sit, chilling, having something to eat, little adult beverage, kicked it, and was chilling. You know what I'm saying? This time, I pulled my store, scorecard out. I started trying to score the fight. I started psychoanalyzing the fight. I started paying attention. And I'm going to tell you something, man. I'm going to be totally honest with you right now. Totally transparent, man. This is the Flow Sports Radio Show, man. We come straight from the show. Jeff Horn. I got a new level of respect for that cat, man. Jeff Horn was bringing it to Manny Pacquiao. Let's not get that misconstrued. He was the aggressor by far. He was in there with nothing to lose and everything to gain, man. And that's a dangerous person to fight. He was the aggressor. He was the guy that was pushing the pace. He was manhandling Manny Pacquiao, man. He, but there were some other things that I did see. Manny, man, was very uncomfortable. He didn't like that. Manny didn't like being, being hands being put on him like that. You know, Jeff Horn was really making it clear that I'm about to come in here, man, and I'm going to do what I got to do. And Manny was back there trying to counterpunch chilling, laying in the cut, doing too much in regards to that and building up Jeff Horn's confidence the whole fight. So at the end of the uh, eighth round, I'm thinking, okay, uh, Manny got this. Man, ninth round, he did what he needed to do, but he didn't do what he needed to do. Pac-Man did not finish the job, man. And from there, Jeff Horn was doing what he did. Manny Pacquiao looked slow. Manny Pacquiao looked like he was in a situation where he didn't uh, handle his business. But at the end of the day, after I scored it, I still scored it 7-5 Pacquiao. Seven rounds to five Manny Pacquiao, man. Because I didn't see uh, Jeff Horn's aggressive action as being effective action, okay? He was aggressively ineffective. He missed a lot of punches. He was leading with his head. He was doing a whole lot of bowing. He was doing a whole lot of stuff, man. And he wasn't super accurate with the punches that he was laying. But yeah, he was pursuing them. Yeah, he was the one that was pushing the pace. But at the end of the day, man, you got to land punches, man. This is a puncher sport, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about who's the biggest and baddest, who's sticking their check out. You know what I'm saying? Who who trying to be, uh, 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 you know, Dom Dada in the ring. It's about who's winning the fight. And I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Jeff Horn did not win that fight, but I got a whole level of respect higher for Jeff Horn, man. And I'm going to tell you this right now. In the rematch, Manny Pacquiao has to knock Jeff Horn out. Now. If he doesn't knock Jeff Horn out, Jeff Horn deserves to win the fight. I'm going to say that now. I'm going to say that before it happens. Because that's what we're looking at, man. We're looking at a Hall of Fame one of the greatest pound for pound fighters in history in Manny Pacquiao and Jeff Horn, who has yet to make his mark until this fight. So we're expecting to see Manny Pacquiao do a whole lot better in that fight. Okay? He did. Jeff Horn is on the come up. I gotta give that brother respect, man. I got to. And when I say brother, I mean brother from another mother. I gotta give him respect for that, man. Anybody's gonna get in that squirrel circle and put it down, I gotta give him props for that. I just can't hand him. I can't hand him the belt like that. But, hey man, that's on Pacquiao. Pacquiao didn't handle his business, you know what I'm saying? But them judges, look 
at the scorecard, man. I got the scorecard at the beginning of the video, and I got the scorecard at the end of the video, man. One judge, 117, 119. Hell no. The two other judges, 115, 113. Hell no. Nah. That wasn't that fight right there, man. If anything, it should have been closer. But that's why we have to have the fights. So I'm going to tell you this right now. That's what it is. Manny won the fight. We could talk about it. But if you come, come correct and come with some knowledge, man. Let's not just be fanboys up in here. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real men who know the who know the sweet science. And let's make it happen. Comment below. Game on. Stir Crazy Productions, baby. When my grandmama gave me that chain. What chain? Yeah, what chain? <laughs>